Hey, what's going on? YST here and welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. And guys, today I just want to briefly talk about Inquisitor Shamayu. We all know by now, he is one of the necessities to build a Hydra Boss Clan Boss team in the current state of what we found out so far. But is he bugged? Does he need to be nerfed? And what exactly is going on when you're bringing him into the Hydra Boss? So without further ado, let's break it down. Okay, so we're also going to go into a run today. I'm going to show you exactly what's happening. But let's go into the skill, which is kind of what we all want him for, right? So each critical hit fills this champion's 10 meter by 7.5%. But whenever an ally receives a fear or true fear debuff from an enemy, this skill will instantly remove the debuff and fill the ally's 10 meter by 15%. So the way that I kind of feel it's a little bit bugged, well, it probably is bugged is only the lead champion is taking all of the 10 meter effects instead of it being spread onto all of your allies. So if they was ever to change this champion, I think they should just do it how it's read in the kit, right? Because if all of the allies are filling 10 meters as they're gaining fear, then your MVP solo champion that's in the lead spot, you don't have to make full use of just that champion's skills. For example, using someone like a Deacon Armstrong in a relentless kit, because he's taking almost infinite turns with the 10 meter boost, he's constantly filling all of your other allies' 10 meter as well. So then you're getting the use of so much 10 meter on one champion, but then your other champions are getting it as well, which is where it can kind of get broken. So what I've done today is, I've maxed up a second Inquisitor Shameo, I put him in some trash gear. I haven't even rolled it up. Look at the weapon, look at the shield. Like some 12 speed boots, eight on the ring. I've not booked him. I've not mastered him. I just want to see how amazing this champion is if you just pull him and you put him into your Hydra Boss team and then we can kind of go over what's happening as well. So let's get into the run guys. Okay, so this is going to be the team that I'm using today. I want to show how someone like a Deacon Armstrong can be broken with the way that Shamel is currently working. But the way you do want to use Inquisitor, sorry guys, I haven't been able to pump out too many videos so I'm kind of just stating it now, is using A1 skills with AoE, right? So in here we've got Bad Okazar, also applying the heals. We've got Sanesha, healing, A1 with the AoE. Bellower for decreased speed, and then also the drop defense, drop attack, and AoE on all of his skills. Really solid rare for this Hydra boss. Um, so let's get into the run and let's see how things are working. You're going to see here that the lead champion Deacon Armstrong, who also has turn meter fill in his kit, it's going to consistently, infinitely take turns as the head of torment is up. I don't know why it's working like this, because when someone is getting feared, they should be filling their own turn meters. But the way that I think it's working, just speculation, is he's taking all of the turn meter boost that should be spread across the allies, right? So if five champions are getting turn meter fill through the deterrence mastery, I think he's stealing it all. And also in his kit, he's filling the turn meters so that everyone's getting turn meter fill anyway. It's crazy, guys. You see, Shamil as a champion, I don't know, I don't think he's completely broken. I think when paired with that mastery, the deterrence, which I'll explain straight after this, it's kind of what makes him shine. But with that turn meter on just the lead, that's definitely bugged. That's If there is to ever change anything, just change that. I wouldn't want to see Shamil completely get ruined because this is kind of my kind of thought process on it. We've got Man Eater for the clan boss. If you pull like a Hegemon on a Sifi, amazing for the arena. Crimson Helm, Samar Gem Curse to solo Bommel. There's kind of that main champion in every area of the game. That is amazing. Should they be busted to the point where if you don't have this champion, you cannot beat it? No. But bear in mind, the Hydra boss has only been out for one week. I'm pretty sure people are going to come up with compositions that doesn't include Shamayu. And also, I do believe that Polarium will be bringing out champions with maybe similar kits to a Shamayu. Maybe not identical. But they definitely knew that this champion would be MVP when they was testing the Hydra boss. There's just no doubt about it. But this team here, not fully optimized. You've seen the Shamil had no, literally nothing, right? He had no masteries, no books, some trash gear. We got some okay champions, definitely not optimized. As I said, I used all of my better champions. 
when I was facing the other heads and when that red Hydro Boss messed up my keys. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this, guys. Do you think that's how it should be changed? Just to how it's written in the skill kit? I think that alone would kind of take away the broken aspect. But it will still be amazing, right? But the thing you have to bear in mind is, if the Head of Torment does not spawn back, you're kind of in trouble because you're relying on one piece of kit. So when Season 2 of the Hydro Boss comes out, and let's say the Head of Torment isn't the first head, I'm not too sure how it's going to work. We're going to have to come up with new strategies anyway, right? But for now, what people are doing is, exactly what I'm going to show in this run, they kind of RNG to wait for the Head of Torment to spawn back, and then you just wait for the other heads to die with their AoEs, and you make full use of damage. So let's just try skip forward to there, and then I'll come back to you guys. And look, the Torment is back, ready to rock and roll, and the cycle is just going to go on, and on, and on. Probably going to be somewhere like a 20 minute run. If I was to bring in champions like... Actually, I'll show you the afterwards of champions that I feel are amazing. But this is just... It's crazy, guys. And then what's going to happen now is... Now that head has got full health, the head of mischief on the right and the one on the left, they're going to be dying before the head of torment, which means we're going to make full use of that damage increase when our allies are attacking. So let's just try and get over to that point. Don't want to keep you guys here too long. All right, so we're on turn count 11 now. We're at 11 million, so around 1 million a turn. Remember, this team is not optimized. You've seen the trash gear on my Inquisitor. But look, the head on the left is down. Head of Mischief is down. Head of Torment is still alive. Which means we're going to get the added damage from our AOE attacks. Whilst counter-attacking. And you're going to see the damage ramp up. It's pretty insane. What I'll do is, I'll let it forward towards the end of the run. And I'll come back to you towards the end. You're going to see what's happening. It's insane. Okay, so this is just finishing up here. 16.5 million is not too bad at all. I'm going to let this one finish because the reset is happening soon anyway. So this team here, 16.59 million, all down to that trash geared, amazing passive Inquisitor Shemail. Plarium, do not nerf him to the ground. I do personally believe we need champions like this in the game. But if you are going to fix it, just make sure that the lead champion is not taking all of the turn meter fill right spread it across all the allies that get feared 
and possibly he's going to be working just as intended nothing insane so let's just back out of here so if you guys did get lucky over the 2x voids to pull an inquisitor or just looking forward to the reset in case your keys are wasted i just want to show some champions i feel personally are going to shine one is going to be manaya because one she's got a speed lead which is amazing but paired with a coroner it's going to be bonkers guys the second that the hydra boss takes a turn he's going to go back with his passive here well his a1 and attacks all enemies twice if Manaya is on the team if you build him in that same deterrence he's going to be taking some crazy turns guys he's going to be taking turns when he's getting hit and also when he is counter attacking so i'm looking forward to trying out that but in terms of the testing that i did off camera because i haven't been able to make much videos this week where are they so suzerain katon seemed to be one of those amazing champions once again, it's all about AoE on the A1 skill. On his A1, decrease speed, keeping those heads away from you. Decrease defense and weaken if you do not have a Lydia the Death Siren. And also, can strip the shield without needing any accuracy whatsoever. It's amazing. Also has a heal reduction which is nice. Another champion which I thought was really good is Mortu Macab. Because, AoE block buffs. Really crucial debuff, especially if you're not running Inquisitor compositions. I actually tried one with, I believe it was Rector Draft, Mortar Macab. I can't remember the other champions. I think Yannicka as well. But I didn't use any Inquisitor, and on the Hard Hydra boss, I hit 15 million. No Inquisitor Shamil, so it's definitely possible. But it was very selective, so I was choosing this head, choosing this head. Then that red head came in, I couldn't record the run. Another amazing champion is... Um, I'm trying to think of the other champions that was amazing. Stagnite seemed to be really solid. Of course, people like Skullcrown. Put them in toxic sets. You're going to be doing a lot of damage. I'm trying to think. There was another champion that was really solid. Still, the Drakes actually was really good. But Ninja... If you're making full use of the Inquisitor Shamil composition and you bring him in, the instant detonation of the HP burn is amazing. Because the heads are not taking turns, because you're always counter-attacking, the more that he cycles around with this ability, you're instantly detonating the HP burns, which is great, right? In terms of another champion, I think Cupidus was really cool. Biggin, underrated. Decreased accuracy, decreased speed. And all abilities are AoE. So those are just some honorable mentions. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more Hydro content. And let me know your thoughts on Inquisitor. And do you agree with just making him how he was intended to build in his kit? So literally how this is written, make it how it actually is. And then he won't be as broken or bugged. Catch you on the next one. Peace.